a pretty epic week-long vacation at the beach with just our family. That was much needed and it was it was such a good week. And I think there are reasons that both Lee and I, uh, just reasons that we both just needed to get away. It's always good to just get away, reset, refocus, and that's exactly what we did. And Grace, what was your favorite thing we did at the beach? Um, my favorite thing was riding the go-karts and going to Cape Lookout and catching the fish in the cast net. The Cape. Well, that was a super fun day, but it got pretty interesting when we were about to leave. We had some boat trouble, we had trouble getting it started, but thankfully we actually, we did make it back to the dock. And what Lee took it that evening to get worked on and he said that it was a pretty major issue and we will not get that back for a couple of weeks. But also when we got back to the dock, I dropped my phone into the water. Yeah, and I didn't have a phone all week, which was actually pretty awesome and amazing. Lord Jane, what was your favorite thing we did at the beach? Water. The water? The water was your favorite thing? Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, what was your favorite thing we did at the beach? So it's pretty much when you went Spanish fishing and catching Spanish. Yes, ma'am. All right. The girls and I are walking across the street where Lee has his boat, where he keeps his boat when we come here to the beach. And Charlie Mann just called me and he said that they have caught some fish and we're going to walk over here to see. How many did you catch? We caught about seven or so. Seven? Cool. Bud. What you got? Oh yeah. What do you think? He's a big fan. All right, let me get it. Who caught them all? You or Dad? Me and Dad. You and Dad? But a couple times we got doubled up. Doubled up? That was exciting.
This boat actually belonged to one of Lee's friends who so graciously let us use it since Lee's was getting worked on. Another couple of fun days that we had was when we went to Carrot Island. The second day we went was probably not quite, didn't go quite as well as the first, and you'll see why. And also in these days, pretty sure it, well, that was when Lee and Charlie both lost their Crocs. We put a kite on the end of a fishing line and let it go, and I have no clue how high it is up there. That is crazy town. And you can see like it was pulling. Got him, oh man. That's a lizard fish. Lee just caught in the net. Yeah. Jump out. <laughs> so these are jumping mullets, and you see they're jumping out of the pocket. <laughs> it's a full time job just to keep them in there. Come on. All right, Charlie. You got a foot. My crew and I are pretty excited. This is our last day here at the beach and we were about to head to the aquarium and we looked out and the sun started to come out. So we are now actually have a change of plans. So we're going to go meet Lee and Charlie at the boat and we're going to go to Karen Island and have some fun on our, on our last day here. Yeah. I didn't look, it's a sand dollar. Sand dollar? Alright, I can do it some. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, this is gonna be fun. And is we he... just found another one. Was is he live? No, this was not live. So this is the rainstorm that I kept pointing to the clouds. I'm like, Lee, are you sure that we're okay out here? Do we need to go back? And it's like, oh no, and he kept looking at the window, we're fine. Put this one the other way. My cow. This one's going the other way. Now we're on. It's going really well by the sounds of it. <laughs> How is it, y'all? It's cold. Yeah. Cold, wet, tired, tired, and hungry. Some degree of life threatening. Some degree of life threatening. Oh, I get some. <laughs> Breezy would be proud. Wow. Breezy is Lee's daddy. Look, guys, he's touching. How is it, Grace? It's cold. Were you touching? Yeah. After realizing the rain wasn't going to stop anytime soon, we were all pretty chilly. We decided to go ahead and head back in.